Hello, and welcome back to Inscription. Uh, this is Inscription Casey's Mod. Uh, the first episode of this um, doesn't exist. Well, that is to say, it's on uh, last week's stream. I'll put a link to it in the description if you want to watch me uh, beat basically the first run of this mod. Um, if you don't know what this mod is all about, basically this was a free expansion added to uh, inscription that added a roguelite mode. Um, it basically turns the game into into more of a your, your standard affair kind of um, Slay the Spire-ish game with a couple quirks here and there. And of course there is that, um, you know, very unique inscription uh, flavor that you can expect. Anyway, if you do, or if you are familiar with Casey's Mod, I hope you will join me for, um, you know, uh, as long as I uh, am not losing horribly to, to this series. Um, I was tempted to do the, the run I won with before, but I think I might just redirect you to that stream if you want that. Um, it was a fun stream. I had a lot of fun. Um, so for now, we want to we want to do a different one. I think the one I did was No Clover. So we want to do something like, okay, Trapper's Pelts costs more. This would be fine, actually. The Trapper's Pelts tend to bloat out your deck a little bit, so it, it, not having to buy them might be better. I don't know. Your pack can hold one less item. Your pack can hold one less item. Um, This seems easy. Oh, we have... We now have 15 challenge points. So I could do something like this. Oh god, that's this seems awful. This is a, this is gonna be really difficult. Level requirements met. Not met. So you have to do three. Or you have to do something like this. Boss battles are also totem battles. Um alright, let's try it with these three. This is this is gonna be a nightmare. Uh, I have been f having a lot of fun with this game. It's it's hard. I mean, it uh, you know beating Leshy in the the main story mode was no joke, but beating Leshy in Casey's mod is even harder now. And also, I am prone to making pretty bad mistakes. So, um, so we have a th th this is our starting deck. I don't know if we have a different starting deck or um, if I have to unlock one still. Have you brought me fine pelts? Hair pelts. Okay, so what do we want? What do we want? I mean, I like the cockroach. I tend to take uh, creatures based on a couple of different criteria. I really like taking creatures specifically for the sigil or specifically if they are blank and they have potential to become good cards. Um, Low cost cards are great for taking because then you can always improve them later. Not a huge fan of most of these. I guess I will take the cockroach and I guess I will take the skunk. Seems like a good one. We could always make the skunk better. And uh, a stink is, is one of those uh, sigils that's gonna fly under the radar. I think for, for me anyway, your pack was full, yeah. Oh, but I get to have a free rat pack, nice. Free rat pack right away. Sorry, pack rat is uh, is actually quite nice. I'm gonna. I don't. Want, I don't like to take a like totem battle right away. I don't think I have the chops necessarily ever to beat a totem battle right away. So um, you know, I like to like to take it easy for the first little bit. We got a we got a pack rat. He's gonna hit us. I think I'm going to sacrifice them for a wolf. Oh, sorry. Yeah, for the wolf, maybe. Wondering if it wouldn't be better to use that squirrel. Because then I'll get an item, right? Yeah, let's do the pack rat and we'll get a squirrel and we'll get our uh, we'll get a fan, I guess. We'll do we'll do some extra damage. We're like very low stakes right now. I don't really have to overthink a lot of things. Um, so I'm going to kill everything here, except for the skink. That's unfortunate. Well, 
I think um, one of the things, <clears throat> one of the ways I like to play this game is to consider health a resource, you know? Um, you can get wrapped up in like, well, I, I want to not take damage at all, right? But it's actually sometimes better just, just to take damage and uh, plan for your future turn rather than like overplay your cards so that you, you know, don't take extra damage. There's our cockroach. We can play it. Nice. Easy. I mean, it's the first battle. You, you know, you can't expect much. Here for a game of chance. Pick a boulder. All right. Middle one. Nice. I got lucky with a golden pelt. All right, we are going to combine. I think I am going to sacrifice the cockroach. Oh, but what about the pack rat? Think about the cockroach. If I, I could either put the pack rat on the cockroach or put the cockroach on the pack rat. The reason I don't think I would want to do sacrifice the pack rat is, I don't know. I honestly don't know. I, it might be better to put the pack. I could put the skunk on the pack rat. I, I don't know. I never, uh, I'm never really sure what to do here. I think it would be good to put the pack rat on the cockroach. Perishes a copy of it is created in your hand. The nice thing about this is that it makes it so that I'll get more items, but I don't know if I want more items because I'm actually kind of limited in that factor. So I think I instead might put the cockroach on the skunk and then we can try and improve the skunk in a future round. This, you know, there's a lot of ways to play our, our sacrifice or our combining table. Um, I probably don't play it necessarily super well. So we have our first totem battle. Totem battles can be tricky. Um, we have our stoat. Stoat won. Won me my first game. So I don't underestimate the stoat. Although it was like seriously like buffed when I won with it. So... We're gonna take one damage. We are gonna take uh, our stoat. There is going to loot, like die. So I um, think we want to play a squirrel and then sacrifice the stoat because um, it'd be better than losing them. Like we'll do one damage, but I think it would be better um, to, to to play something with a bit more chops. We will take two damage, unfortunately. I think I'm just gonna try and play the bull, the bullfrog, because then we'll get rid of the coyote, and we'll get our two health back. The, that bullfrog is gonna be functionally useless. Might as well play the pelt. There we go. It's going well. There's our skunk. Nice. Um, all right, so there's a fireplace coming up. I really want the ringworm if I can possibly get it No, no ringworm for us. I Do like corpse maggot corpse maggot is uh, one of my favorite um, like bad cards low low tier cards. It's a lot of fun So um, if you can get the ringworm you can kind of semi ex well, it's it's a there's a built-in kind of Easter egg where um, you can kill the the people at the fireplace, which is fun. Um, I'm going to buff the skunk, and then I'm just going to take it. If you kill them, then that means every future fireplace is free, which is really nice. We have another totem battle. That's wild. All right, let's just get this the stoat out there. We'll do one damage, we'll take one damage. This, these guys have guard dog, so it doesn't matter where I play um, the, the wolf. I did draw one. I wanted to um, see if maybe I could get something better. Oh, that was bad. I didn't realize the adder was gonna kill, kill me there. That's really unfortunate and I'm 
pretty sure the skink will end up being the one that answers the call here, which would be better because we don't want the we don't want our skunk to die here. We'll throw our pelt down there for some defense. This is confusing. <laughs> this is kind of confusing, I won't lie. Um so I'm pretty sure if I sacrifice our skunk here, we will get another one. But I'm going to play it safe and just keep things going. You have me here. I surrender. Oh, okay. Sure, I'll take it. It really felt like you they, you know, they were winning. So that's that's a little strange. Um, I really like the Rattler, but it's very expensive to play. Skink is also a nice low-cost card that we can probably combine. So I'm going to take the Skink. Maybe we can combine it with something else. Um, this, this effect here is usually really nice to play. Uh, usually on a high-cost card. So like something like the Pack Rat would be a good way to use that. But I think I'm going to do the wolf instead for that added attack. So I got another fireplace. Is it going to be health or attack? It's going to be attack. That's great. We're going to add that to the skunk. Because I really want a <clears throat> low cost card with high attack um, and even better, I get I get it back when it dies, so we can play it pretty liberally. So we got our angler. Angler can be a pain in the butt. If we somehow win in like very early, then they're not as much of a problem. Okay, this is not ideal. So we only have two items, right? Can we, we can only hold two items? Yeah, so the hook counts as an item and then and then we just have the fan. We should probably use the fan. Oh, I should have placed the uh, I should I should have placed the pelt, but it's okay actually having the pelt now is is kind of nice. Here, have have my pelt. Yeah, we'll we'll do it this way. You can have the pelt. I don't know if that means they they get it forever. I'm pretty sure it means they don't get it forever. Um, I don't know why I drew another squirrel. If I'm being honest. I guess we can play things without worrying about the hook for now. Okay, so he's gonna take my pack rat. I need to play a squirrel to ensure he doesn't do that. Oh, I would have I would have been fine. Also, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn the music down a little bit. I'm going to turn the whole thing down a little bit. There we go. Go fish. So this is a uh, not ideal, but we do have flying, so I can make use of that. And look at that. There. It's a win. Perfect. Good to use the items. We'll we'll get more of them later. Perhaps one of these will entice you. Long elk. This one always feels kind of creepy to me. I have no words for this freak of nature. Mantis God is generally always the correct choice. I would like to take a different card, um, but like the Mantis God is always the best choice. 
The relief of the fresh air quickly gave way to a bone-shaking chill. You guessed at the path ahead is as the snow increasingly obscured it. You had climbed to the snow line. Cuckoo. That in infanticidal cuckoo. It chokes up the board with the broken eggs of its victims. So what is this? Oh no, I didn't mean to take it. Oh, I hate that. Ah. Well, well, we have it now. So what does it do? What does this do when a card bearing the sigil is played? An egg is created on the opposing space. Okay, that could be good. Um, be good if we could have played that on uh, the card. Uh, if we could have put the death sigil on this. Because then we could immediately choke the opposing board. Oh, we're going to sacrifice the mantis god. I kind of want to put it on Pack Rat, because that would make Pack Rat really worth playing. Or we could play it on Cuckoo, and then we have free three damage every turn, basically, unless they have uh, flying defense. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. And we'll try and buff the Cuckoo as well. We have another totem battle. Oh, this is going to be a pain. They're going to have flying cards. Um, which means that I'm not going to be able to hit them with basically most of my stuff. Including things like the skunk. Let's uh, let's try it. Try it with the skunk. The, the skunk does have a lot of extra health. Just going to throw some stuff out. You know, try and do some damage. Yeah, we take we take a damage. That's fine. We got our bullfrog. Um, skink is well. They're not gonna die, but they're not gonna be able to kill the raven egg either. Oh, I already won. Never mind. <laughs> Doing all right. Grizzly. Oh, raven. The conniving raven. A blight upon the skies. Um, would be nice to have a beefy raven. I do really like the elk fawn, but it's got that turn, uh, move to the right, which I never play effectively, so, I don't know. It's also a cheap card. I'll, I'll take the raven, because now we have, we actually have, like, more than one of the same faction type. We have two birds, so I could take a totem later to try and buff everything. Alright, so I am going to buff our, um cuckoo because now they are a mantis god cuckoo with low cost that chokes up the board um, I'm pretty happy with that I see we have a mushroom coming up oh good honestly this is this this is fine for me um, wow that's a really tough creature right there what does this do rampager at the end of the owner's turn a card bearing the sigil will move in the direction inscribed in the sigil. Creatures in the way will be thrown back behind it. Weird. I haven't seen that one before. Uh, I think I'm just going to throw the, the pelt there, and then we're going to grab our stoat. Probably we'll end up sacrificing the stoat. There we go. We get our wolf for free, which is nice. We have a raven. We're going to take some nasty damage here. Um, I think we want to get our raven out as soon as we can. Yeah, may as well. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get some our health back. Oh, that sucks. Um, we're gonna win. We're we're fine. I always overthink this game. You know, it's an easy game to overthink. You're like, oh, I want to do, 
I, I want to make all the things happen. Ooh, we could combine our, our cuckoos. Yeah, let's do that because then we'll have a really good cuckoo. I know we need we do need a um, totem. So why don't actually why don't we delay? Oh, but we need two totems, don't we? Before the totems are actually worthwhile. Um, oh, bummer. Uh, let's we'll do we'll delay the mushroom for now. So we do want the bird. So this was this was good. So now we have to choose between buff. Oh, there's a there's another mushroom. Okay, so we'll delay the mushroom twice, so we can get our our um, totem going. Perfect. So there's our our cuckoo. This is a, our first cuckoo. So we'll put it here so that we uh, stop the the bull from advancing. And the nice thing is the cuckoo is flying, so it doesn't kill the egg. I like it. I like the uh, the cuckoo. I'll throw the pelt down here when the porcupine breaks the fur. All right, let's throw our skink down. This way we get more sacrifice. We have a, we get our raven. I will sacrifice the skink. And we win. We didn't get our, our super cuckoo, but the cuckoo on its own is actually pretty decent. I'm going to take bones because, uh, oh, well, corpse maggot could have, we, we could have gotten better than corpse maggot. We could combine two corpse maggots, but I don't know. I feel like um, plan A is, is what we want. So <laughs> we could we could give all of our birds flying or we give them um, fledgling. I think that that is actually potentially really good. So we have, I think, I think we've made, I, I made some good choices here. We're going to buff all of our birds. We're going to buff one of our strongest cards. I know you don't necessarily, um, you know, I, I, I got some good advice from uh, chat. I know you don't want to rely on one card. We have at least two or three good cards in this deck. But I don't think there's anything wrong with making a really decent card into an excellent card. I think that there's something wrong with basically putting all of your uh, eggs in one cuckoo. You know? <clears throat> the trapper. So the trapper is gonna be a pain. They're I would say they're not they're not um, the hardest of the three, necessarily. I honestly have more trouble with the angler. And the nice thing is I am using birds, so this first phase is not gonna really be a problem. Um the skunk is going to die, which is totally fine because they are, they're made for dying. So let's go ahead and throw them out. I'm thinking specifically about the uh, trap. So we are gonna end up, um, uh, I just, I kind of want to just, yeah, th there's our cuckoo, perfect. So let's, uh, let's throw it out. Does it not? Oh, I guess it only makes an egg if there's an empty spot. Okay, that's good to know. So it's gonna do, wait, oh, it has flying? Oh, uh, well, at least it's, uh, it, it only works on the, <laughs> we're gonna lose our cuckoo. So it now becomes a 4-4, four, four. elder cuckoo. Oh man, but we're gonna lose our cuckoo. That's a real bummer. There's no way to like move it. Well, th it's still worth keeping it there. We're about to do four damage with it. We'll throw we'll throw our, our skunk. Why not? We don't get to do our fourth damage. It doesn't get to finish its ta attack even. Wow. Oh, that's brutal. All right, let's just, uh, we'll just win this the old-fashioned way. It's okay, we, we have plenty of opportunities, and I still have my hook. 
Oh right, they're flying, so we don't we don't get anything there. Um, all right, let's continue drawing some cards. Uh, I can't really play them. Oh, I can't sacrifice that pelt either, so it's just in the way now. I could have played the bullfrog there. That's a bummer. We are still like a net positive on uh, the damage we're doing, but it's it's still just you know a problem. Uh, I think we win here. We win our first phase anyway. I get a, I get my pelt back. Oh, that's right. Someone said that if you um, kill people via the trap, you get more pelts. So it's actually worth doing that. Um, I, I could have taken advantage of that, but I'm honestly glad I just focused on trying to win. Such powerful cre creatures choose wisely. The wolf feel seems really good. Um, sparrow is going to be great, I think, because we uh, it's going to become a fledgling sparrow. I don't know what the bat is. Is it a bird? I feel like the bat shouldn't count as a bird. But whatever. Um, so let's let's play the sparrow like right away. Can I? What do I have on the field? Okay, stoat. Um, do we want to sacrifice the stoat for the bat? Is it a bird? It doesn't seem to be a bird because it doesn't have the um, fledgling sigil. Okay. Um, be good if we could get the bullfrog out. You know what? Oh, we need to draw. I don't know what I'm waiting for here. Uh, let's get the bullfrog out so we can get rid of this. The, we can block this kingfisher. And then I'm going to get the sparrow out. Also, we can play the bat. I don't know what I was thinking there. And I guess it would be worth playing. I know that uh, it's not going to do the most damage here, but I think we're going to win. So I don't think it matters if you play perfectly effectively so long as you win. You know. So I'm going to sacrifice the bullfrog to get an item. Because, uh, you know, we're, we're about to win. May as, well, may as well get an item out of it. Nice. Lives are restored. All right, let's see what we get here. Mantis God. Ouroboros is apparently not as good. Mantis God. Always worth taking Mantis God. For the sigil alone, it's worth taking Mantis God. So there's another totem. I'm pretty happy with the one we've got. We don't need an item. This might be worth it, but I honestly, well, yeah, we could get some extra stuff from here. So I, I guess I will go this way. You never know, maybe we'll find a better, um, a better uh, totem. Trial of blood, trial of bone, trial of health. I think trial of health. I think I have some pretty high health cards. Yeah, there we go, there we go. There we go. Ringworm. I don't think it's worth playing ringworm this late. This one gives us an item and moves to the right. I don't, I'm not a huge fan. Mole, this one has fecundity, uh, which is nice, but, and it is a low cost card. It would be a pretty good uh, defender. A card bearing the sigil will move in the direction inscribed in the sigil. Creatures in the way will be pushed in the same direction. Uh, I don't know about Mole. This one also has Guardian, and it also has Split, and it costs Bones. I think the Coyote is a good choice. It's good to have a couple of Bone cards, because you're just getting Bones, like, for free. If you can't use them, then you're not necessarily playing things very effectively. 
So none of these are great. I mean, I'll take one, but I, I'm gonna keep what we've got going on here. It, it is a pretty good combo. It is buffing all of our birds. We'll go to the trapper. We'll sell our, our pelt. Wouldn't mind getting rid of some cards, if I'm being honest. Hmm, I'm not a huge fan of this con uh, situation, if I'm being honest. Oh, I guess the skink will not die, actually. I always forget. Skink doesn't die. If we could have actually if I could have if I played the skink on the porcupine, we would have gotten extra sacrifice. Which would have been nice, but that's fine. Um, let's go ahead and use this. We'll kill the coyote. Porcupine will be blocked. Skink. Well, unfortunately the skink is going to die, but we'll it'll die on the next turn. We may as well keep this going. Um yeah, I, I don't have anything to sacrifice. If I had a squirrel, I would sacrifice the skink for the uh, raven. We're about to take... Oh, okay, they died right away. Never mind. I, I, I still apparently get confused about the turn order. Um, that's fine. So I do want the, the pack rat to, to be a thing out there, like, now. Um, so let's go ahead and do that flying I want to get rid of that coyote we might end up using flying I'm going to take 2 damage we're going to take 3 damage I might actually have lost here yep bummer I probably did not play that correctly at all also I will say I think our, our deck is getting a little bit um, bloated out a bit So these are more expensive. I, I, I misunderstood. This is not where we buy cards. This is where we buy pelts. And we can only buy rabbit pelts right now, right? Because we have the uh, the thing, the, the, the negative that makes the game harder. Oh, I should have bought the knife. That's it, It's so unobvious that you can buy the knife, even though it has a price tag on it, that I miss it every single time. Ugh. Okay, we're gonna throw Mantis God on something. I kinda wanna put it on the Raven. Cause then it will be uh, like a three way, like that's six damage if we can, you know, in an ideal situation. I know it's a higher cost card, but we have been able to play it pretty consistently. That's our first paint. Our, our first our first goobert. Here's our cuckoo. We definitely want our cuckoo as quickly as possible. Oh, we should have played it here so we blocked the wolf. I don't know what I was thinking. Whatever. It's fine. I mean, we're going to do nine damage, so it hardly matters. Um, I'll go here and I'll try and get another bird. No bird. I hear insect is always worth it. So, yeah, I mean, the mantis is a pretty good card. I think I do want to um, copy our cuckoo. We have too many cards, decidedly. So they don't get the three-way. Instead, they get flying defense. I mean, it's not awful, but it's certainly a huge downgrade from what we had. We got our cuckoo. We got the wrong cuckoo, though. It's fine. The cuckoo is still good. It's still a really good card because it blocks units. Also does three damage, and it's about to do four damage, so, like, we win. It's like I say, it doesn't matter if you play super optimally. As, as long as you win, it's fine. 
Uh, I don't think we want an item, and I certainly don't want another pack rat. I don't want any of these. These are all awful. Take the otter, but I don't want it. <laughs> Let's see if we can get anything more interesting here. Um, no. No, I still think this is the best combination. This one would uh, give us ants, but I, I'm not a huge fan of ants. All right, is this gonna be extra health? No, still attack. Every single one has been attack. Um, I think we upgrade our cuckoo. I mean, it's... I know don't rely on one card, but um, we could do the raven. Or we could do like the mantis. Yeah, let's um let's upgrade a different card. I think upgrading the mantis is a good idea because that's it, it's it's now like on the same level of like um a mantis god. It does more damage technically now than the mantis god. So this uh this guy is tricky. You want to make sure you don't play your best cards right away. Playing, I think playing this cuckoo would be fine. Uh, I know that's, um, you know, it's a good card to play right away, but like, I, I just want to get the first level out of the way. So I'm just going to draw cards. There's our other cuckoo. So we do, we do, we, we win. So he's gonna turn my elder cuckoo into um, a, into a rock. Struck gold. I've struck gold, and then we're gonna play our second cuckoo and just win. There we go. Easy. Let me relight your candles. So what do we have? Strange larva, the Daos. Deus? Filthy feral hog. It becomes incensed when its chimes are struck. Oh, I've heard that this is actually a pretty good card, but oh my god, Mantis God. Three Mantis Gods. Hat trick. Let me see. Okay, so we have three choices. I think we want to combine a card for sure. Mantis God with... Just plain mantis would be kind of nice. Skink with mantis would be okay. Um, mantis god on pack rat would be nice, I guess, because then we have more three way. I should have tried to get rid of these pelts. Um, I don't know. Sure, let's put it on the pack rat because uh, I feel like putting it on the mantis would be a little bit redundant. All right, final, final uh, boss. And see how this goes. I don't have a lot of hope, but we still have our hook. So I believe the first one is going to be the angler. I can't remember what they, they go first. Might be trapper. Trapper would be fine. I just don't want them to turn my stuff into uh, gold, into gold rocks. Oh, they have an amalgam. It doesn't matter what we play, Mole Man's gonna block the amalgam. So we may as well play just about anything. Just gonna play the skink for now. P keep things pretty simple. 
So they are they are the um, prospector right now, which means that we we need to survive a couple of turns. Or they're gonna turn our stuff into gold. I'm just gonna draw some cards. The music is really loud. Let me go ahead and turn that down a bit. And of course it is actually loud. Um, I'm just gonna pass her turn. Yep. Oh, you get a Mantis God, huh? Well, we have a Mantis God as well. So I'm gonna play that now. Do I want to play it now, though? Let's, um... Oh, if I... I need to play this carefully, because the wolf man is... Or the mole man's going to pop up somewhere else, right? If I play this cuckoo now, it will end the run it'll end it oh this thing this guy has flying on top of it all um okay here's what we do we play the cuckoo uh mole man has flight a flight block so what we're gonna do i played it wrong didn't i hmm i don't know if there was much way to stop this. Doesn't this, um, when an empty space would be struck, a card bearing the sigil will move to that space to receive the strike instead. I don't know. I don't know if there's a way to, to stop this, because the fact that he has flight block is a really a problem. You know what I should have done is I should have used my hook to grab the mole man and then we would have won like right away. We still win because I still do six damage. The man soaked forest bed gave rise to shadowy figures gasping for night air after their long and torturous slumber. Ah uh, yes. I remember that one. So I mean we're still gonna do eight damage like right away. There's not really much point in playing cards. Um, so I'm just gonna draw cards to try and get something else. Cause I, I want, I mean, I, I, I need as much firepower as I can get in our final round. Oh, is it already moon phase? Oops. Still works just fine. Um, so I'm going to continue to draw cards here. Our Elder Cuckoo is not going to last, well, it's going to last four rounds, but it's also going to do 12 damage per round. I'm pretty sure we've won. Um, so I need to, I'm just going to throw out this Raven, um, for insurance. Right, and we win. First episode, first win. You're not the first to triumph over the moon, but go on, finish it. Nice. Excellent. So we we did it. What do we what do we get some cool stuff? So I woke up and damn near lost my mind. I tried to recreate that bug with the angler over and over and nothing weird uh, was happening. Then I realized I was testing on a different disc. So I popped in the same disc as last night and holy shit, unless you went 3D. What does that mean? I barely even know. Maybe I am crazy. The entire game is different. Unless she took over and it's 3D. I don't know anyone who would listen to me about this. There's entry two. If you want entry one, uh, definitely check out the stream. Mole man. Mole man will block an opposing creature bearing the airborne sigil. Also, when an empty space would be struck, mole man will move to that space to receive 
That's right. Why is it Mole Man with a question mark? Starter deck unlocked. So we have a different starter deck. Start all battles. Sorry. Start all battles with one damage on your side of the scales. Plus 20 challenge points. Wow. So on our next run, oh, we have a we get to pick a different starting deck, um, and we have we now need to meet thirty challenge points. So we could do something like take this and then the one we just did, which isn't too bad. I think that that would be okay. Boss battles also being totem battles sounds really scary if I'm being honest. It might honestly be better if we could do like trapped tips scales and then like this. I think that that would be nice. We didn't even use our hook. So honestly, we could do this so we don't have a hook. I think that that would be okay. So um, yeah, if you enjoyed this episode and uh, my, my victory, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.